Hi, I'm Mark Frazier. Exploring wildlife right in our own backyard is the best way to learn to appreciate them and therefore protect them. You're invited to join me on the exciting wildlife adventures. Welcome to Nature Works. Like a giant inland sea, Lake Champlain is host to many kinds of life, some native, some non-native. The bottom of the lake is covered with these zebra mussels like you see here. They're an invasive species and you have to be real careful that you don't transport these with you when you're in the watersheds. Let's take a close look. These invasive mussels thrive on algae. So from about six feet down, till about 65 feet, every square inch is covered in them. This aquatic plant is called Eurasian milfoil. It's something that's invasive, just like the zebra mussels, and you need to be careful not to transplant it. Zebra mussels cover every square inch. It turns out their shell is razor sharp, so be very careful. a little bit deeper to about 12 feet with scuba gear and a nice pair of gloves gives me a chance to appreciate really what's going on with life in the shallows. Species like smallmouth bass are predators. They form a roll here that's similar to a shark. You see they seem to be patrolling along the shallows looking for any of the smaller fish that might accidentally stick their head up. Hiding in the grass at the bottom a little tiny fish catches my eye. I notice the color patterns almost look like some kind of a tiger stripe. It required a lot of patience, but eventually this elusive creature came out from hiding. It turned out to be the amazing log perch darter fish, an incredible little species. Now that camouflage makes perfect sense. At three to five inches, it lives in a world where it's definitely on the dinner plate. And right overhead are the predators. It's really interesting when you think about life in the shallows. Now just imagine, because it's shallow water, there's a lot of sunlight, so there's a lot of plants. And that starts an entire food web. So these species, like many others of the 80 different types of fish that live in Lake Champlain, they have their unique niche. They live in a place where they can thrive, as long as they can stay hidden and not end up on the dinner plate. Often wildlife can be as curious about us as we are about them, but look at this little fish in the center of the screen yawning while he's looking at me. So yes, fish do yawn. The water had an exceptional green hue. This was because of an actual algae bloom during this dive. It had been a hot summer, so the increased algae made the water all that much more green. During the spring, log perch will come together to spawn. In this particular case though, they actually found some food on the bottom that they were all taking advantage of but this made for some great underwater footage because it was rare to see them all together like this. It's a little tough to see with this visibility, but there appears to be this massive fish about 20 feet away. Suddenly it gets a little bit closer and this looks to be a freshwater drum fish, but it's absolutely huge. This enormous fish is very skittish. It won't let me get close whatsoever and I'm trying to show some sort of skill, but look at the bass it's swimming next to. Now that bass is probably four or five pounds himself, so just try to appreciate just how big this fish really is. Now we're in fresh water, so that to me is absolutely stunning to think about. So life in the shallows has the same predator-prey dance that we see all over the natural world. Smaller prey species of fish need to be on the constant lookout and sometimes on the partly cloudy days, species like bass and freshwater drum, they'll take advantage of those rays of light coming through the water. And if that reflects off the sides of the smaller prey species, they're gonna go for it. Paying attention to the amazing natural world right in our own backyard is the best way to ensure that there'll be a healthy and clean world for all of us in the future. The incredible thing about wildlife is the closer you look, the more you find. 
Thank you so much for joining me on this nature walk. I'm Mark Frazier and I'll see you again very soon.